Okay, and so now we're going to look at the second type of probability in this section, which is conditional probability, but specifically only using tables. We've looked at conditional probability in a sense of picking two items, but this is going to be picking one item from a table. So first, let's think about this. Consider that you're in a room made up of five men and five women. What is the probability that you are randomly selected from this group? That would be one-tenth, right? Because you're one of the ten people in this room. But now, what if, before I reveal who I've selected, I tell you that the person I selected has the same gender as you? So now, my question is, has the probability that you are select the one I selected, has that gone up or down? Well, that probability just went up because now it's only a one-fifth chance of you being selected, which is 20% and higher than 10%. But let's go ahead and get into the formal definition. So conditional probability is the probability based on the fact that an event has already occurred. And we've said this before in a prior section, but the probability of B given A has already occurred. And we've read the beginning of the formula, but I didn't tell you how to find it. So the probability of B given A is found by taking the probability of A and B at the same time divided by the probability of A. But again, as I mentioned earlier, we're not gonna worry about that formula. When we did it before, it was with dependent events and we just adjusted our second fraction. Basically, that's what we're going to do is adjust our only fraction based on the information we have. So at the top of our page, it says what we're gonna do is we're just going to adjust our denominator to be the restricted population. And this line is actually at the bottom of your previous page not above the table on your new page. But okay, so let's go ahead and solve some problems and start off just getting used to it. We're asked to find the probability of selecting a cat. So one item, and if you remember, we find all of the ways this could happen out of everything that's possible. So we're going to be dividing the nine cats of the 32 pets to get 28.1% probability of randomly selecting just a cat. Now, question B also asks that we randomly just select a cat, but it says given a white pet was selected. So it's almost like we want to come and get rid of all the brown animals, get rid of all the gray animals, and really we're just interested in selecting a cat. So this would almost be what our new table looks like, but I'm going to erase all that. So we have our new population of white pets only, and that's all that exists for the table. That's why I said assume everything else is gone. And again, we wanted a cat. So if we only have white pets, so we're going to look at a white cat divided by the white pets. So we have a white cat divided by all of the white pets. So four cats are white, and four of the pets were white to give us 28.6%. And then let's go ahead and do that again, but now the criteria is kind of flip-flopped. We're looking for the probability of a brown pet given a dog. So we only want to look at dogs and then we're interested in it being a brown one from just the dogs. So again, we have our new population of just dogs brown dog divided by all dogs. As we just saw, it was 10 over 12, which is gonna give us 83.3%. So let's go ahead and have you solve question D, pause and check your answer. Okay, did you get 40%? You should have been looking for a gray mouse divided by just gray pets, which would give you two fifths for 40%.